I think the most uh, common characteristic, if you have to name just one, uh, that, that organizations that are innovative are known for is that more often than not, they are incredibly open organizations. They are organizations that encourage uh, bottom-up uh, input from uh, their most grassroots sort of employees, right? Uh, it is a, a, an organization and a culture uh, wherein uh, collaboration and, and multidisciplinary integration is commonplace. It's not uh, a situation where it happens only on occasion. Um, innovative companies innovate when they're in the lead, uh, not when they're sort of at the, at the end of the rope relative to a certain product category or uh, when they run into uh, significant financial situations or, or limitations with regards to the viability of their business. So if you look at a business like Best Buy versus a company like Circuit City, Best Buy has been innovating from a leadership position for uh, over a decade now. Uh, they're consumer centric and, and focused on uh, uh, segmenting those, con those consumer segments and looking at, at their consumer population as individuals, not as sort of ch chunks of people who, who they can predict their behavior. Um, and also developing new product services, new formats, new concepts. Uh, if you look at uh, Geek Squad, for example, this is a business that, that six or seven short years ago had really no major service offer, and today a, a, a large preponderance of, of their revenues are generated from, uh, from a service concept that they created as a result of being an innovative business that was looking to create and respond to increasing uh, wants, needs, and demands of their customer base.